Welcome to this video series where we are looking at the Computer Applications Technology or CAT PRAC exam, paper one from 2023. And this is the supplementary paper, which was the June paper of 2023. And we're starting with question one, and that is the word question. Just a reminder before we get started that there is that in the video description, you'll find links to the data files. I would strongly suggest that you download those files and give the exam paper a try and then come back to the videos with the parts that you are struggling with. So let's get stuck into question one. So here we have a scenario about Cape Town and we're talking about the national park for the Table Mountain and we are going to obviously have that as a theme throughout this paper. So we start with question one and we're going to open up the first word document which I have done already which is one Cape Point and let's start with 1.1. Make the following changes in the header. So remove the double strike from the text it's Cape Town South Africa and change the position of the header to one centimeter from the top of the first page. So there's the document to access the header. We're just going to double click at the top there. And then you'll see that we've got the header and footer tools at the top here and the, the ribbon. And we've got access to it. So first thing we do is we're going to select this text and we want to remove that particular double strike, which if I come here is a font issue. So let's go to font. And you can see it says double strike through. So let's deselect the double strike through and click OK. So that's all gone. And then it also says to change the position of the header to one centimeter from the top. So if we go to the header and the footer, let's see if there's something here that says Ooh, header from the top. At the moment, it's 0.5 centimeters. We want to make that one. So there we go. Now it is one centimeter from the top. So there we go. We're going to close the header and footer and that is 1.1. Then 1.2, set the hyphenation so that the words in capital letters are not hyphenated. That has got something to do with the layout. So if I come here to layout, you'll notice there is the hyphenation options. And if I click on those options, there's nothing there that what I would need to do. So let's go to hyphenation options. And if you remember, we want to set it so that the words in capital letters are not hyphenated, which is that box there must be unchecked. And that's as easy as that is. The key to that is to know where to go, and that's under layout. Let's move to 1.3. Insert a custom mark footnote on the word reasons, which is found in the main heading to display like that. So we want an at symbol as the footnote, and the text must be elements of life. So I'm assuming it's that is the word that we're looking for because they did say it was in the main heading and we want to insert a footnote which is got to do with references. And so there's the footnote. So we're going to click on footnote. But let's, if I just click on it, it automatically puts its own mark in of a number, which is not what I want. So I'm going to undo that. I'm actually going to come here to footnote to this, the pop-up dialog. And let's click on that. And so we want a footnote at the bottom of the page, but we want a custom mark. We want a at symbol. So I'm going to put the at symbol there just by using the keyboard. So I'm going to click insert. And then here we can put in the text, which must be elements of life. So if I click away and I come here and I put my mouse over there, you can see that it says elements of life there. Let's move on to 1.4. Find the text that starts with the Cape Peninsula and ends with five reasons why. I think that was right here on the front. There's the text. There we go. That's the text that we want to look at and modify to be displayed as shown below. So we want it to look like that. So there are two columns and we can see that our text is in two columns already. However, you can see that this column is much thinner compared to that one. There's a line between it and they specify that the spacing between the columns is one centimeter so let's have a look here so you can see there is zero and it goes until six it looks like so that's six centimeters for the first column so we're going to come here to layout and we're going to come here to columns we're going to go to more columns and we can see that it's already two but we now want a line between and we want the first column to be six centimeters, but they mustn't be equal. So I'm going to deselect equal and set this to six. And the spacing we said must be one centimeter. So let's go down to one centimeter. So six centimeters for the first column, a line between and one centimeter spacing. Let's go OK. And there we go. You can see that looks a lot closer to what we want over here. OK, so I think that's enough because those are three things that we did. And that's for three marks. Let's go to 1.5. Find the text question 1.5 and replace this text with a citation referencing the source Matthew Stern. Do not display the year. We scroll down. There is question 1.5. So we're going to select this. And again, under references, we're going to come here to insert a citation. And you can see that Matthew Stern is already one of the options built into this document. So I'm going to click on that. So because we selected it, it's replaced it, which is what we want. But we do not want the year to be displayed. So I'm going to right click on that citation and we can edit the citation and we can suppress the year if I click on suppress here it means it'll just put the name in for us so we've added citation and we did not display the year those are the two marks 
1.6 find the comment and reply to the comment with the text sometimes oh so we must find the comment now how do we know where the comment is now first of all we're going to come here to review and you can see that show comments is on so we're going to make a list over here just to see where all the comments are and we can see there is a comment so if i click on that it'll take me directly to the comment there it is and we're going to reply to that comment with sometimes and there we go we've added our sometimes as a comment so that's how we found it by coming here so let's go back to contextual so now we know that it's there and then 1.7 edit the watermark as follows change the font type to arial narrow and format the shape of the word arc to an arch down curve shape so as you can see behind the text there is a watermark so to access that watermark we're going to come here to design and you'll see there's the watermark option so we're going to come here and we're going to customize it and they asked me to change the font to arial narrow so let's change that to arial narrow we're going to go up a bit so there you can see arial narrow so we change it over there click okay and we're going to apply it and you can see that it's changed now if you look over here we can literally only change what the text is we can change the size of the text and if it's semi-transparent the color but there's nothing here about word art so how do we change the word art so i'm going to close there because we've made the changes for the text and there's nothing else over here that can help us with the word art so the tricky part to this question and a lot of people don't know is that this watermark is actually part of the header and the footer so if i come up here to the top and i double click on the header and the footer i have access to this part which is technically behind all the text but if i scroll down i can actually click on the watermark over here by going through the header and the footer and here is where we can see options like word art and they want us to change it to an arch shape down which is one of those shapes i'm assuming so if i click down and we want to arch shape down so there's arch that's arch up that's arch down curve i think that's the one that they wanted so if i click on that and there we've changed it to that particular layout okay so that was very tricky so remember if you need to do anything more than change the font or the color or the text of a word art you need to come to the header and the footer and if we double click away we back to the normal part of the document so those little changes you've got to just double click on the header and the footer and then you can access the watermark text or image at the back like that so let's move on to 1.8 find the text behind that heading and we're going to change the layout of the text that it looks like that so let's go find that text first of all there it is so there's the text so we want to change particularly this to look like that which means there's obviously some tabs there they've given us a ruler so we can identify what the tabs are now first thing i want you to take note there is a, a left tab at six centimeters there is a center tab at about 9.5 and there is a right tab at 14 so let's go apply that to just this group of text over there from description to 35 so we've already selected description to 35 see there is a left tab and we want to click on six centimeters for our left tab we can drag it where we want if we want to be sure you can actually just double click on the tab and we get to the tab options and we can actually specify them quite specifically so as you can see there is already a right tab at 14 as you can see there's that's a right tab at 14 so we don't need to do that one that one's already done but we do need a center tab at about 9.5 so I'm gonna come over here and say 9.5 and say center and we're gonna set that so now we've got a six centimeter a 9.5 and a 14 and a it's left center right did you see how it changed over there left center right and we're gonna click ok and we can see that our text is pretty much laid out the way we want we maybe just want to put a bit of a tab over here quickly so that must actually tab up a bit so we go up a bit like that and that should be tabbed up a bit as well if we just put a tab there and we can see 85 45 50 85 45 50 and then the 70 and the 35 so that's all correct the only other thing that's missing is these dots that is the leader so let's go select that all again and we're going to double click over here you can also go to paragraphs and click on tabs over there if you want to get to this dialog box so on the six centimeter tab we actually want to apply a leader we want to put a leader with little dots so i'm going to click on the six centimeter i'm going to click on those dots keep it left let's set it and click ok and there you can see automatically it's put the dots in for us i think that is everything that's applied we've got our six centimeter tab that's left we've got our leader we've got our other tab which is a center tab at 9.5 and we've applied the tabs i think that's enough for the four marks okay so let's go to the last part of the question 
1.9, add a three point page border to the document and set the top margin to appear 12 points from the text. To back to design, that's where we'll find the page border. So we're going to apply a page border. They don't specify anything about the style. They just say a three point. So I don't actually mind what type it is. So I'm just going to click a particular line, but we want that line to be three points. So I'm going to make it three points like that. And we want it all around. So we're going to put a box around to set the margin to appear 12 points from the text. You can come here to options over here. Let's see what that gives us. Ah, there's margins and we want says they measure from we want measure from the text and we want it to be 12 points the top margin so we can select that to be a 12 point top margin measure from the text and let's click OK and then we click OK again and there we go and there you can see my page border and if we double check it you can see over there there's all the details three points around everything and 12 points from measure from the top everything that we were looking for all those words appeared in the dialog boxes that we were looking we just got to make sure that we go to the right place to find these dialog boxes so there we go that's it done let's go click save we are done with that question we can now move on to the next question if you want to get the videos to the other questions, first of all, make sure you look at the video description for links to those ones. Click on that subscribe button so that we can inform you whenever we post new exam videos. Follow us on TikTok as well as our other channel. And remember, don't do it the long way, do it the Mr. Long Way.